Right. Uh, wow, the history. The history of DBX class is actually pretty long. Uh, the project itself got started in 2005. Uh, it actually just celebrated like 10 years uh, in August. Wow. Uh, but before that, it all started with uh, class DBI, uh, which I think was started in 1999 by Michael Schwern. Uh, mm -hmm. Started a lot of stuff in, in the pro community, apparently. Uh, then got taken over by Tony Bowden, and then uh, Matt Trout came to Pearl and uh, was pretty unhappy with some of the limitations because, you know, let's face it, in 1999, we didn't really know much about... Uh, uh, in Pearl, we didn't really know how to do object orientation correctly yet. We didn't have enough best practices and things like that. Uh, so instead of breaking backwards compatibility with everything, uh, he started a new project, which is DBX class. Uh, what does it do? It, uh, if you've seen Inception, uh, the movie, there is a thing there where they basically get into the, uh, uh, in between creation of dreams and consuming of dreams. Uh, DBX class is not as much of an ORM in the traditional sense. It's more of a tool uh, that lets you to both generate queries and consume the result of queries. Uh, with kind of two semi-loosely related parts, which together, however, work to get together, uh, to, to basically give you a full-blown ORM. So it's, 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 I, I, it's as I described, though. I mean, you, you use it to access without writing SQL, though you can actually write sort of SQL in it too, if you want to, right? That's correct. So basically on the query site when you're actually talking to the database. Uh, of course, databases these days still, relational databases still mostly speak SQL. Uh, there are some uh, ways to, you know, to try JSON and things like that, but mostly it is SQL uh, the way it was back in the 70s. And uh, it is pretty tedious to write, especially for most of the queries that you do are not very complicated. They're basically select stuff from stuff where stuff and you write this over and over again. Uh, with uh, a framework like uh, DBS class, uh, you are able to cut the middleman, so to speak, and uh, express your code directly to, uh, express your queries in code directly, and then the ORM, the query generator part, will uh, take care of translating this into SQL that the database will understand. 